Hello friends, in this part we will see how to submit form data with attendance details of student has been submitted, by using Ajax with PHP. For this here we have write, dollar with form ID attendance form with on method, and under this we have write submit event, so when form has been submitted then, this block of code will execute. Under this block, first we have write event dot prevent default method, it will stop to submit form data to server. Now we have start write ajax request, and under this we have write first option url set to attendance action dot php, it will send request to this file. In second option, we have write method, in this we can define by using which method, we have to send data to server, so here we have write post method. In third option, we have write data and in this option we can define which data we want send to server, so here we have write dollar this, with serialize method, it will convert form data into, URL encoded string. In fourth option, we have write data type and here we have write JSON, that means it will receive data from server in JSON format. In fifth option, we have write before send call back function, this function has been called before send of Ajax request. Under this function we have write, dollar with submit button id button action, with value method, and under this we have write validate, it will change button text. After this we want to disable submit button, so here we have write dollar with button id button action, with attribute method, and under this we have write disabled, it will disabled submit button. Lastly, we have write success callback function, under this function first, we want to enable submit button, so here we have write dollar with button id button action with attribute method, and under this we have write disabled option set to false. After this, we want to again change submit button text change to original text, so here we have write dollar with button id button action, with value method, and under this we have write dollar with hidden tag id action with value method. Now we have write, if statement and under condition we have write data dot success, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar with span tag id message operation, with html method, and under this we have write data dot success, it will display success message on web page. Below this we have called clear field function, it will clear all form field data. For hide modal, here we have write dollar with modal id form modal with modal method, and under this we have write hide, it will hide modal from web page. After hide modal, we want to refresh data table data, for this here we have write data table variable dot ajax dot reload method, it will refresh data table data on web page. Now we have again write, if statement and under condition we have write, data dot error, if this condition true, that means any validation error has occur, and it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write data dot error attendance date variable value is not equal to blank, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. 
Under this block, we have write dollar with span tag ID error attendance date with text method, and under this we have write data dot error attendance date variable, it will display validation error. But suppose above condition false, then it will execute else block of code, and under this block, we have write dollar with span tag ID error attendance date with text method, with blank value, it will clear previous validation error from this tag. Now we have go to attendance action dot php file, and here we have write if statement, and under condition we have write dollar post action variable value is equal to add, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have create variable like, dollar attendance date is equal to blank value, dollar error attendance date is equal to blank value, and dollar error variable is equal to zero. Now we have move for validate form data, so here we have write if statement, and under condition we have write empty function with dollar post attendance date variable. If attendance date variable has blank value, then it will execute if block of code, and here we have write dollar error attendance date variable is equal to, attendance date is required, and dollar error variable value increment by 1. But suppose attendance date field has some value, then it will execute else block of code, and under this block, we have write dollar attendance date variable is equal to dollar post attendance date variable. Now we have write if statement, and under condition we have write dollar error variable value is greater than zero, if this condition true, that means any validation error has been occur. So under this block we have write, dollar output variable is equal to array, and under this we have store validation error details under array format, which we can see here. Suppose, there is no any validation error has occur, then it will execute else block of code, and here we have write, dollar student ID variable is equal to, dollar post student ID variable. Now first we want to check, teacher has already take attendance of particular date, of particular grade student. For this here we have write, dollar query variable is equal to, select attendance date from attendance table, where teacher ID is equal to, dollar session teacher ID variable, and attendance date is equal to, dollar attendance date variable. Below this query, we have write, dollar statement variable is equal to, dollar connect variable with prepare statement with dollar query variable after this we have write dollar statement variable with execute method it will execute query now we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar statement variable with row count method value greater than zero if this condition true, that means, teacher has already take attendance of particular grade student. So under this block, we have write dollar output variable is equal to array, and under this we have store validation error message, which we can see here under array format. But suppose above condition false, that means teacher has not taken particular grade student on particular date, 
and it will execute else block of code. Under this block, we have write, for loop and under condition, we have write dollar count variable value is equal to zero, dollar count variable value less than the value of count function with dollar student ID variable, and count variable value increment by one. Under this loop, we have write dollar data variable is equal to array, with first key double colon student ID, with value get from dollar student ID with dollar count variable. In second key, we have write double colon attendance status, with value get from dollar post attendance status with dollar student ID, with dollar count variable. In third key, we have write, double colon attendance date, with value get from dollar attendance date variable. And in last key, we have write double colon teacher ID, with value get from dollar session teacher ID variable, so this way we have store attendance data, here in array format. Now we have write, dollar query variable is equal to, insert into attendance table, with table column like, student ID, attendance status, attendance date, teacher, with value get from double colon student ID, attendance status, attendance date, and teacher ID. Below this insert data query, we have write, dollar statement variable is equal to, dollar connect variable with prepare statement, and under this we have write dollar query variable, it will make query for execution. For execute query, we have write dollar statement variable with execute method, and under this we have write dollar data variable, so on every loop it will insert attendance data in attendance table. After this here, we have write dollar output variable is equal to success key, and in value we have write data added successfully, this message will be display on web page. For send this data to Ajax request, here we have write echo statement with JSON encode method, and under this we have write dollar output variable, it will send data to Ajax request in JSON format, now we have check output in browser. Friends, first we have refresh web page, and after refresh of web page, here we can see attendance data on web page, now we have click on add button. After click on add button, here on web page we can see, modal has pop up with details like grade name, attendance date, and student list which has come under grade which has been assigned, by admin. Now first we have directly click on add button, then under modal we can see validation error, so here required field validation working properly. Now we have select attendance date, and take attendance and select present and absent option, which define which student is currently present or absent. After define which student is present or absent, now we have click on add button, after click on add button, on web page we can see success message, and that date attendance data has been display under jQuery data table. Now we have again click on add button, and here we have select same date which we have select previously, and select student attendance status and click on add button. 
After click on add button, on web page we can see validation message like, attendance data already exits on this date, so this validation working properly, now in next part we will discuss, make attendance report in PDF format. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box, or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.